Hello everybody, welcome back to another video inside of Minecraft and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on this farm here. This is a mushroom stem farm. I haven't actually found any of these online so this is the first of its kind. It's a pretty cool farm. You plant the mushroom here, use brown mushrooms, this will be full of bone meal and then you get the output over here. So for this tutorial you're going to need a 18 by 19 space with the blocks going that way when they come out. So we're going to start over here and build it. But first I want to show you it in a survival world. It is survival friendly as I built this for Shepherd Tamer. So you can go and check out his channel. And yeah, he built it on survival so go and check him out. Anyway, let's get on with this tutorial. So, here it is in survival, over at ship's place. Um, and yeah, it, it does actually produce pretty well. I've managed to somehow manage to get two, so... And I haven't even used it. <laughs> but yeah, it does work really well over here at survival. So, we're going to start over here on this top corner here. The blocks will get pushed out that way. And we want to go to the seventh block this way. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here. And then the seventh block that way. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then go to there. And that's where you're going to place your mycelium, which the entire thing is going to be planted off. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, behind that's going to the, like, yeah, if that's th the top and then that's the left. So on the left of that you're going to place a dispenser facing to the right with an observer heading into it like that. You want to put bone meal in there when you want this farm to work. In front of this this, this observer in the ground here you're going to place a sticky piston pointing upwards with an observer pointing the opposite direction on it and you can put a lever there I don't have one on me, but that's how you get the farm to work. So then where you've got this mycelium on the right hand side, so here, you're going to place four blocks of any kind going to the right. On the first block place a comparator with a repeater coming out of it, and then place two redstone. Then going upwards from that last block of those four here, so here, place three blocks going up with redstone on, going across, sorry, with redstone on top, and then place one block going to the left with a repeater with one tick delay, so that's here, going into a sticky piston with a block on it. On the other side of the sticky piston, place a block with a block going diagonally up to the left, so on top of those last two blocks, place redstone dust, and then next to this block here, there, place sticky pistons with two smooth stone on the front of them. So that will push the blocks going that way. Anyway, down here where you've got these redstone here, you're going to place a redstone going down with a repeater here on two ticks delay with another piece of redstone after that which points into that piston. That would allow when you've put something in this dropper, if a block gets placed there, it will push it going that way, that's a dispenser, not a dropper. Anyway, next part. Okay, so right here, you can place three redstone going across to the left, with a repeater coming out of it, then place a redstone going up to a glass here, and then do another glass going up to the left. So then, then a glass up to the top, upwards to the top is one, one back again, one up again, one back again, one up again, one back again, one up again, and then finally one back again. And then you're going to place a repeater, well a block coming out of that glass with a repeater on it, going into a block with a redstone dust on it, and then you can place a glass to the left hand side of that. Oh. Up top side of that, 
and then do a glass back again and then one more time going back again then then you're going to place a glass going up to the left for say on night of course then up to the right that's the top anyway i'm going to go left and right for now so right left again right again left again right again left again right again left again right again and then finally left again and then right again again <laughs> that's the last time and then you can have a block here with a repeater on it and then then from here you're gonna place seven blocks going across it that's six that's seven with redstone on top of it and then after that seventh you're gonna place a block of obsidian with a block of obsidian there and there on this obsidian here you're gonna place a redstone with a block coming up here with redstone on top of it and then down here you're going to be placing a dispenser pointing into this hole here so that should look like that you're gonna fill that with TNT later don't do that yet <laughs> and then place a block with a block there on top of these two place redstone and on top of that dispenser place redstone then you can place a dispenser here place redstone on top of that dispenser that dispenser place a block in front of it temporarily it could be any block and then around that block place your obsidian like so you can place an obsidian on top if you want but you don't need to so then over here where you've got this redstone here you're going to place that into a block with another block coming out of it a redstone repeater going into two blocks here with redstone on top and then you're going to place a comparator going this way here and the other way there with two redstone there like that so that's going to come down here with redstone on top of it and then then you're going to place a block there and a block there if i can get it there we go and this is going to have four blocks there going into a block with three blocks here no two blocks here going into a block with three blocks here going into a fence gate like that this can be pointing anyway i'm doing it like that Anyway, on top of this first block, you're going to place a repeater with four ticks. So like that. A repeater here with three ticks. Repeater here with two ticks. Repeater here with two ticks. A repeater here with two ticks. Repeater here with two ticks. A repeater here with two ticks. Repeater here with two ticks. And a repeater here with four ticks. And then on the other side, you're going to place a block there like that on four ticks with a repeater with a block in front of it then place a block two blocks going to the left come back on itself by four blocks there going into a you need to place a block work you need to put a foot birch fence there so then on this block here you're gonna place two ticks with a repeater place two redstone at the back then place four ticks four ticks, four ticks, and finally a last four ticks. So this top section here is now done. These will be filled with your TNT. And now we need to create the blast chamber. So I'm gonna do that now. So you're gonna need a lot of obsidian for this part. You're gonna want to create a nine by nine with a hole in the middle, which it will be on top of this mycelium and it needs to be two blocks up so like that so go three blocks out four blocks out sorry from that middle hole and just create a giant square this is going to take a lot of building and a lot of obsidian but it is still able to be done in survival and once you do have it you get a lot of mushroom stems out of it you just need to have silk touch and mine them at the end. Anyway, with this platform here, you're going to pla want to place three blocks at the back there, three blocks here, and three blocks there. With one block there and one block there, making sure there's a gap in the middle here, which will be facing the bottom end where the mushroom stems will be coming out of. 
and then on each side here, so like that, and you also need one here, here, and this back one here. You need to do them walls going round and go up seven blocks, so that's six blocks currently, so that's seven, so go ahead and do that which will be all the way around, just bringing this up to 7 blocks. Like, this, yeah. This is the minimum you could have it. You could have it higher if you want. It won't affect the farm, having it higher, but th there isn't an ease. But it may l make it look slightly nicer if you do bring it higher, so you could bring it higher if you wish to. So that should look like that, and then come down to here, where you've got this mycelium, and you want to count 11 blocks going that way, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so that should be there. Place a redstone torch on it, with a block behind it, or blur, with blocks like that coming up, and to then place a piston there, and a piston there just in case you do get a higher one, which is rare, but you could get two highs sometime. Anyway, going this way, you're going to go 3, 4, 5, and on that block, place a redstone torch with a block there and a block there. Redstone, redstone. Create a two high wall, which is five blocks wide, with redstone going across like that, and that's actually the farm complete. You're going to want to fill this up with a lot of bone meal and maybe put a hopper on the back for a, a way to ax put more bone meal in and then you want to fill these up with TNT. So once you've done that, this farm now works. So go and build it in survival world and get the mushroom stems which are very good for building with as Shepard Tima has shown with the builds he has on Break Rock. So go and check Broke Rock out, go and check Shepherd Tamer out, and subscribe to my channel. May as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Go and build this in the world, it's very useful. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.